Odell, he had a, uh, he got cleated, and um, he has a, a cut or two, and they're in there taking a look at it now. Um, so he's probably going to be sore here for a couple of days. You're not worried about it being anything structurally or anything like that, just the surface, you're saying? Uh, at this point, that's, uh, that's all I have. Is there a reason why Victor didn't participate much in the 11-on-11? 11 11? Uh, we dialed back his load today. Uh, he did work and finished practice, and uh, he got the number of reps that we were looking for to get today. That was the plan. That's part, yeah, that's part of the structure. Coach, you have a landmark coming up. It's the uh, off day tomorrow. Uh, what are your thoughts so far as we're in, uh, as we're through, at least in the practice? Uh, it's gone, you know, so far uh, according to plan. Uh, look forward to getting the pads back on when we get these guys back and uh, getting their feet underneath them. Uh, fitting the pads in. I know the big guys are looking forward to that uh, with some of the drills we have planned for them. Um, it'll be exciting. It's going to be a little bit of pads going on. Fundamentals, physicality. It's going to be a little sickening when they're dealing on the ground like that and a little slow to get up. Yeah, I mean, when something happens to any of your players, uh, you know, your heart's in your throat. Uh, but uh, we were fortunate there. You. Um you got to move inside today. What changes for you? You, you know, have to keep it's two out of three practices so far inside. Is there anything? Do you have to change your plan at all? Yeah, I like to use all the grass outside. You know, you like to, to spread the guys around, have them moving around, uh, you know, keep their head on a swivel a little bit. And here things get a little tight. Uh, once you get the music on, the, the energy gets going, a little bit of a beehive effect. So you have guys swarming and player safety's uh, a big concern, so we have to be smart with the way we're doing things, so more of a traffic cop uh, in here, especially early on in practice, making sure we're smart with our space. Scripts say the same now? Yes. How, uh, what, what are you going to do uh, on, on Tuesday's practices as far as contact? Is it going to be full tackle or uh, is it thud like you did in the past year? Uh, we're going to have thud tempo, thud wrap and release. Do you believe in tackling to the ground? Every Sunday. <laughs> Not during practices? Oh, there's a potential for it. Under what circumstances? We don't have any scheduled for Tuesday. Until Tuesday, coaches, it was the last day to be able for mental reps, and, and that was placement, something that as a coach you're going to see on Tuesday? Uh, you know, every rep's a mental rep. Uh, we're looking to uh, get their feet underneath them, get the fundamental part of things going, and uh, you know, build up their, their endurance to play the game. Was it anything in the last two days that you saw at Victor while you kind of backed off today? No, that was just part of the part of the program. What's the part program of the with him moving philosophy. forward? Uh, same thing. He'll have different loads each and every day, depending on the day, and Does the workload the day before and the workload the next day. Does uh, contact change anything for that? Uh, that's a part of it. Yeah, that's factored in. And I guess also with the day tomorrow, I mean, like you had a couple of days of work and then you guys a couple of lighter days maybe and then geared up again on Tuesday, is that the thinking? We're not gonna we're not gonna give uh, give everything away, but there are acclimation days and there are high 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 effort days, high workload days and then there are days off. So you can acclimate, you can work and then bring it back down. We'll have launch days. Uh, we'll do we have some different things uh, built in. Do you anticipate any of the pup guys being back Tuesday? Uh, Possibility, yes. What has uh, Greg Milhouse done to impress you guys? He's running with the first team. He's, the guys were here last year. Right? He's doing a nice job. He's doing a nice job. He uh, he's flashing. He works at it, you know, mentally in the classroom and uh, technically he's uh, trying to do things the right way and doing what we're asking him to do. It's important to him. And when it comes to Cruz's workload, are you also doing that with other players? And maybe we're just not noticing as much because we're not. Uh, we could tailor it to each individual player. Uh, mostly guys coming off an injury, but guys who are veterans uh, or, or other guys as well. As well. What do you think of Miles White? Miles White? Uh, I think Miles is having a nice camp. Miles uh, is poised to make a run. What do you say about the uh, performance Paul Perkins had today? Paul Perkins. Uh, Paul's getting uh, getting his feet wet. It's nice to have him here. Uh, you know, he missed a lot of time in the off season, uh, but he's a guy that uh, you know he has a lot of learning to do, and uh, we have to give him the reps to do it.
with Hotel, is there any chance he needs a stitch or a staple or something like that? No, uh, not that I'm aware of. Anything you else? Odell, you think Odell will be ready by uh, first preseason games? <laughs> ready for what? To play the game? I uh, hope so, yes. What do you What do you plan to do on the off day for you and, and what do the players do? The players are off. They have treatment if they're on the injury report. Coaches, we have to prepare for, uh, we have some targets that we have to hit for the next week uh, for the preseason games and uh, reflect back on these last few days.